Hello guys! In today's session, we're going to learn how to make a platformer game. So, are you ready? Let's go! In your ScratchMIT.com website, click on Create on the top left button. Now let's set up our game. We need to add some stages and some sprites to our project. So click on the stage panel on the right side of your screen. Great! Now click on the Backdrops tab located on the top left side of your screen. Wonderful! You will see a platform like this. Here, click on the button Convert to Bitmap. Okay guys, now we need to add some color to our stage. So, go and select the bucket tool on your toolbar. Make sure to change the color that you wish to add as your background. So click on the Fill tab here. I selected baby blue. Now click on your stage and it will be automatically added. Ok guys, now we need to draw the ground. So select the square tool here in the toolbar and make sure you give it the color you want for your ground. Again, go to your fill tool and change the color. Great. Now let's draw the ground. Guys, I'm going to use the same ground for all my stages. So I'm just going to duplicate this stage by going to my toolbar on the left and right click on my stage and click on duplicate just like this. I will duplicate four times because I will have four levels. Okay, so let's go back to backdrop one and let's draw some platforms for our Scratchy the Cat to jump on. Okay, I will speed up the process, but you can keep looking to see how I did it. Okay guys, when you're done, click on the code tab on the left corner and then make sure you have your sprite 1 Scratchy the Cat selected. Now my Scratchy the Cat is a little bit too big, so I'm going to go to the sprite panel and change its size. Let's try 50 or 40. Now, let's add more sprites to our game. Click on the sprite button and add or choose another sprite. Here, I'm going to choose the apple sprite and I'm going to change its size too. Guys, we also need a portal that teleports us to the other level, so choose a new sprite and get this button 3 sprite. Great, fantastic! Let's move the portal a little bit. Guys, always make sure that you're working on the desired stage. In my case, I was not, so I'm going to go back and select the stage I want to work on. Okay, great! Let's go back to our sprite or our Scratchy the Cat sprite and add this code. First, I brought the one green flag clicked. Next, I'm going to go to my blocks and I'm going to create a new block. Click on make a new block. And here, name it start. Underneath start, we're going to add the next blocks. 
hide. Set size to 50% and the go to X and Y block. Let's go to events and bring a new block, the broadcast a message block. Get the broadcast the message block and go to my blocks and make sure you attach on the when green flag click the start block just like this. Great. I'm going to make my new message start. Click on K. Next, go to looks and get switch backdrop to backdrop 1. So whenever we start our game, this is the first backdrop that we have. Make sure you show the sprite when you start your game. Okay guys, there are a couple other blocks that we need to make, such as the control block so that we can move our sprite around the screen. The first thing that we're gonna do is add two if blocks. We also need to add the sensing blocks that will listen for whenever we press a specific key. Go to controls and get another if and nest it between both ifs. Let's add these operators to check a certain condition. If my X coordinate gets to the edge of the screen, it should bounce just a little bit. If your blocks look like this, you will be able to move your sprite left or right around your screen. Now guys, to make sure that our code works, we need to add a forever loop and call the controls block inside the forever loop, just like this. Now let's try and see if our cat moves around. It looks like it's working. Well done! Next, we need to add other blocks to our code so that it is a complete game. Let's go! Let's create a new variable and let's name this variable jump and gravity. We're going to create this function to allow us to jump smoothly and gravity affect us. Great, well, I'm going to speed up the process and then I'm going to explain to you what I just did in this code. So, bear with me. First, I created a jump and gravity function. Underneath this function, I added an if else block. If I'm touching the color black, set the variable y speed to zero. 
If the key up arrow is pressed, then set the Y speed to 10. I also have an else block here. In this else block is said, change Y speed to negative 0.5. Please do not forget to add this code over here because this will tell our code when to jump or how to jump. Great guys, let's go to the next part of our code. For this sprite, the last thing that we have to do is to create a new block called check goal. This will allow us to see when we reach the portal or the apple. I speeded up the process, but we created this block to check the goal. Then I said, if touching button 3, repeat 100 times and do a whirl like a tornado. Then I will clear up all the graphics, I will switch the backdrop, change the size and go to a specific position. Great guys, here we added another if to check if I'm touching the apple. If I'm touching the apple, say yummy and stop all the whole game. Okay guys, it's time to code our portal or our button number 3. Go to events and add the when green flag click button. Now before we add the next block, we have to make sure that our portal is well positioned. Great. Now go to motion and add the go to X and Y block. This already has the position that you need for your block. Also, don't forget to add the show block underneath this. The next block that you are going to add is a block that only executes its code when it is at a specific backdrop. This one. This one will execute a code when it is on backdrop number 2. Also, make sure that you're working on backdrop number 2 so that you know where to position your portal. Great! Don't forget to add the go to X and Y block for this too. So whenever we are on backdrop number 2, our block will go to a specific position. We will have to do this for all the other backdrops. Now for backdrop number 4, our last level, we do not need a portal, so we will just add a hide block. Now it's time that we add code for our apple sprite. Make sure to get a when green flag click block. This is our starter block. When we click the green flag, make sure to hide the apple. Let's also set the size of the apple to 50%. Wonderful. Our apple should always start at this position when we are on level 4. Great. Now guys, I added some extra code here to animate the apple. It's not completely necessary, but if you want it in your code, just copy this over here. Now, let me try my game and see if it's working. So far, everything is working, but when I get to the portal, nothing happens. Why would that be? 
Let's go to our Scratchy the Cat sprite and let's see what's wrong. Oh, I already see what happened. I did not put the check goal function inside the forever. Let's try it again. Great, now it works perfectly. Let me try all the level to debug my game and see that everything is working properly. Oh, but there's a problem. Where's the apple? I cannot see it. Hmm. Let me go to the apple sprite and make sure that everything is working properly. I could already see what was my problem. I did not add show block underneath when backdrop switches to backdrop 4. There we go. Fantastic, guys. Wonderful, my super students. Now, I think it's time that we try our finished version of our game. This is a cool game that you can show your parents or your friends. I hope you liked it. See ya! Bye bye!